Hey, my Sagittarius friends, and welcome to your 2018 September channeled messages from spirit. I'm going to tip my camera just a little bit here. There we go. So, okay, you guys were the second highest likes and comments for last um, channel messages I did. So you guys are second to be released. If you have uh, a Virgo in your life, you're connecting to a Virgo, make sure you watch your channel messages as well. There is a lot of Sagittarius energy um, in Virgo's readings. So um, with that, let's get started. Um, September for you guys is a month of rediscovery, rediscovering yourself, uh, finding yourself um, destiny is just bringing you beautiful new opportunities, big rewards. Uh, I'm hearing 2012. So since 2012, your guys's life has just been a shit storm to put it in, to put it bluntly. Um, you guys have endured a lot of pain, a lot of karmic injustice, um, being punished by other people for things you really weren't doing. Um, just a lot of things that you guys had to deal with that most people, um, would not or should not have to, uh, relationships really crumbled. Um, in the last five years. So really, yeah, 2014 too, I'm hearing. So those are two big years that, um, that were hard on Sagittarius. Uh, in the last year though, you guys have grown, healed, ascended, um, found your spirituality, found who you are. And now you're really rediscovering yourself. Um, huge epic changes in September. I can't, I have so many messages that I don't even know where to start. I was like that with Virgo too. Um, yeah, so, okay, we'll start with, um, the new moon in Virgo on the 9th. It's going to highlight what you love, what you value. It's going to um, bring in a lot of changes. It's going to take away a lot of things that uh, the universe knows is not serving you anymore. Uh, so lots of changes, lots of ups and downs, um, but all for the positive. Uh, September is going to be a beautiful month for you guys. You're going to be feeling energetic, happy, lively, uh, thankful. You know, you're just going to feel like, the world, the universe is finally raining down on you with blessings. All this hard work that you have um, done in the last year is just going to be rewarded in an epic way. Um, big rewards in love, in finances, in work, in family. Uh, there's somebody coming in for you guys, for this group of you who you are very attracted to. Your chemistry is just immediately on target. Um, for this group of you, you have not met this person yet. This is somebody new coming into your space. You're single. You're ready to, uh, to move forward in this relationship. And it's going to be one of lots of fun, lots of new things, new experiences. Uh, this is life partners for this group of you. Uh, Yeah, also with the Aries new moon. Yeah, there's something big either happened in the Aries new moon or the Aries new moon that's coming. Uh, there's a huge shift in, in energy and relationships. Uh, so be ready for that. Have your energy cleared. Um, Spirit is really um, encouraging you guys just to take a step back. Let the universe take the wheel. Let them drive you in the direction you're meant to go because um some of you are trying to control the outcome too much and it's not um working out for you so take a step back have faith have faith that the universe is um knows what's best for you um 
for another group of you, there's somebody that you want to be in a relationship with, but they're not emotionally available yet. They do have feelings for you. They do care about you. They love you, but they have to deal with their karmic uh, lessons at the moment. Um, they're just not emotionally there for you, but they will be. Um, for some of you, there's a group of you, you're dealing with an emotionally draining job. You are breaking free from those. You are moving into a different career for this group of you. I see you moving, like doing something completely different, not just moving jobs. Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to pause you for a second because my dogs are freaking out. Hold on. Okay. I do apologize for that. I just don't want to hear them barking in the background in the video. So, okay. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Uh, jobs. A lot of you are switching careers. Um, this is going to, this is going to be a uh, beneficial financially. You're going to find a better job, more paying, more satisfying. Um, yeah, this is the right move for you. So if you're an emotionally draining job, uh, it may be, uh, consider looking into what else interests you, looking to see what else is out there. Um, for some of you, you're moving forward. You're moving slow, but it's going to be worth it. Um, don't look back. Don't ever look back. There's no reason to look back there. Um, the things that you're meant to carry forward with you um, are right next to you. There's no reason to have to turn around. So just keep moving forward. Um, it doesn't matter how slow or fast you go as long as you are moving in the right direction. So very positive for those Sagittarius dealing with that. Um it's very important that you continue to live for yourself. Don't put your life on hold. Don't put your life in pause for someone else. Um, that's important for somebody to hear. I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, I guess that's it. Um, some of you are wanting to move like physical locations or you're waiting to move physical locations there's a delay in this. There's something that is um, stopping this from happening right now. And that's just because it's meant, it's not meant for you just yet. You will be moving. I do see you moving in the month of October, some of you in November, um, large distances away. So uh, just try to remain patient. Um, this, this is coming in for you. For some of you, you're completing a cycle. There's something secret. Something that you've been keeping secret in relation to somebody else. Somebody else was keeping you a secret. This could be a third party situation. Yeah, yeah. Somebody was keeping you a secret, keeping their feelings for you a secret. Um, and you were tired of being hidden in the shadows. You were tired of being an option instead of their priority. So you're putting an end to a third party situation. You're ending, ending an affair. You are telling this person, you're telling them you're feeling, you're telling them how you feel, but you're, you're also putting your foot down. You're telling them it's time to make a choice because if you don't choose me, I'm moving on. Um, for some of you, I do see you moving on. I see you moving forward. I see you finding love that's going to remind you what real love is. Um, for a large group of you, Sagittarius, you're going to tell this person that. And uh, they're going to have the push, the drive to leave their partner and come with you. Now, you can't just say this to this person and expect them to um, run after you. You have to mean it. You have to be ready to move on. You've had enough. You're sick of it. Um, you're done. You deserve more than this. You're worth more than this. And um, if they can't give it to you, somebody else will. So 
when you say that to this person, you have to mean it um, or they're not going to go anywhere. Uh, they're going to know you'll be back. So only say it if you mean it. But when you do, this is going to scare them into losing you. I had a message like that in the Virgo video. You could be dealing with a Virgo for this group of you. Virgo sun or moon. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> uh, for this group of you, you're dealing with a Virgo. Uh, they're scared to lose you. They're scared that they know how great you are. They know you are amazing, attractive, smart. People want to be with you. They know you have a lot of options. Um but they did not think that you would move on without them because they know what of an intense connection you guys have. They know how much you love them. Uh, so they thought you would stick it out for however long they decided to hang out and pretend land um, because that's what they're doing. They're pretending with whoever they're with because they don't want to cause a ripple. They don't want to cause um, a shit storm in their life. But this is destined to happen. So whether they do it themselves or the universe has to step in, there's a shitstorm coming for this person. Um, they're going to look to you for support in getting through this. Um, and obviously, uh, Saggies, you will be there. You guys are there for everybody. Um, you will help them get through their separation, dealing with family, um, et cetera. There's a group of you, when you let something you know go that isn't working, um, someone, something that's in your life that is not working for you, that isn't for your greater good, but for some reason you've still been holding on to it, once you find the courage to let that go, everything's going to make sense. Clarity is going to just step in and say hello and you're going to see it all. You're going to figure it out. You're going to, it's going to become clear to you. Um, there's going to be no more confusion, no more. I wonders or what ifs, um, it's all going to be laid out in front of you. You just have to let go of what it is that is not, you know, it's not for you. You know, it's not for your future. Um, it's almost like you're holding on to it for something to do, someone to be around. Um, once you let that go, everything's going to fall into place. Um, you need to heal for this group of you. You need to heal from past hurt relationships before you move on. Um, this is, you're either dealing with an air sign, predominantly Libra. Um, if you, yeah. You need to, you need to mend those scars or mend those wounds, you know, um, because you're trying to move on too fast and then you want a balanced, fair, loving relationship, equal give and take, but you're coming in to this relationship, not healed. So you're not able to give as freely as much as the person you're coming into a connection with. So it's going to be out of balance, except for you're, you're going to be the one that's not able to give as much. Um, if you come into that relationship balanced, healed, healthy, and ready to move forward with this person with no baggage of the past coming with you, it's going to be a beautiful, long lasting soulmate connection. Um, things as a whole for Sagittarius in the Virgo season are changing drastically. Like flipping of the quarter, like extreme changes. I can't even express in a word what, and it's for the better. Everything's for the better. Um, the world as a whole, as a collective is shifting their consciousness, shifting their energy into a positive direction. Um, and Sagittarius is leading the pack for, um, these changes uh, you guys are becoming more uh, 
clairvoyant. You guys are becoming more um, awakened. You're starting to um, see and feel more. Yeah. You're going to be getting major downloads in your sleep. Make sure you're resting very well every night um, and drinking plenty of water. For some of you, you've been having some like crazy dreams, uh, crazy intense. Like you open your eyes and you're like, that seemed so real. That was weird. That was so real. Um, yeah, that is your angels connecting with you. That is your angels um, trying to communicate Uh Yeah, it's time to listen. So when you wake up from your dreams, make sure you're keeping a dream journal. Um, write down whatever it is that you um, dream. It's, I mean, it's, it seems so silly, but I'll tell you a quick personal story. So uh, last, or no, two years ago, uh, shortly after my house was burnt down, um, I was going through my dark night of the soul and so a friend of mine told me to keep a journal. So I started keeping a dream journal. Um, right after somebody burnt my house down, uh, two weeks after that, I found out uh, that my office that I worked in, I am <clears throat> my other job. I am a behavioral health therapist. So uh, two weeks after my house burnt down and my insurance didn't cover it, I found out my office was closing in 30 days. So then I was without a job. A week after that, I hit a deer with my car and only had liability insurance on it. So then I was jobless, carless, and houseless. Okay, so not only that, I was going through a divorce, an ugly divorce. So um, I just felt like my whole world was crashing down. Um, I was very depressed. I, my friend told me to start keeping a dream journal because I said my dreams are so real, so vivid. So when I got up, I was just writing down whatever I could remember as little or small or whatever. One night I had a dream and all I kept seeing was this date over and over and over again. It was like on circling around the world, just a date. I got up, I wrote that date down. I thought, well, obviously that's important. Um, a couple of days, a couple of weeks, I don't remember how long in between it was. I had a dream that somebody had come to me who had passed away and was trying to uh, get me to help their family deal with this death, which, you know, I am a psychic medium, so I see spirits all the time. So I woke up and I was like, was that real? Should I be looking for these people? Um, or was that a dream? So I wrote down this person's name and what my dream was about helping this family and didn't think anything of it, you know, weird Think, you know, the next night I dreamt about peanut butter and jelly, you know, it was just like, so like weird. And then, um, one night I had a dream about a hospice center and I was building this hospice center brick by brick, just me and my angels were sitting there putting these bricks into a building, like what you do when you're a little kid, you know, building a fort. And I was just sitting there. So then Two days after that, I lost my grandmother. She was in the hospice program and I was talking to one of the therapists and she said that, or one of the social workers, and she said that they were um, revamping their system and she wanted to know if I would like to come uh, interview for the job. I told her, of course, two days later, I went in and interviewed for the job. Guess what date it was? The date that was circling around the world. And I wanted to get this job so bad. Um, obviously it was offered to me. My first client that I had was the person that came to me in the dream and wanted me to counsel their family. Um, I was so awestruck because I was like, after I got the job, I was like, I think I dreamt about hospice. So I'm sitting here flipping back through my dream journal, reading it. And it was just like, oh my God, my angels have been trying to come tell me it was going to be okay. Even though I felt like not getting out of bed, I then knew it was going to be okay. I got the job. I got a company car. Um, you know, I relocated. So they provided, um, help for me to move. 
Like it just all fell into place. So what my angels were doing was just trying to tell me it's going to be okay. Um, but I didn't understand it at the time. So it's so important to keep a dream journal. Um, sorry about that story. If anybody didn't want to hear it, um, you could have just clicked on off, but, um, it's just, that's how neat our angels are. That's how amazing the universe is and connecting with us. Like I was so down in the dumps, um, you know, and I just, I couldn't see a way out. You know, I was living with my three children in my parents' basement, you know, who wants to move home to your parents' basement? Uh, and I just, we didn't have anything from shoes to underwear to a toothbrush. I mean, we were completely without, and I just didn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. And my angels were just trying to tell me that. So if you're having these vivid, vivid dreams, make sure you wake up and write down whatever it is that you are dreaming about that you can remember, but make sure you do it right when you wake up, because shortly after you're not going to remember the details that they want you to remember. So once again, I apologize for rambling. Um, I see you guys asking for this group of group of people, you're asking somebody like, do you love me? Do you really love me? Because your actions speak louder than your words. Put your money where your mouth is, is what I just heard. So you're confronting somebody. Um, you want answers. You've gone long enough without them and you're tired of it. You're going to get the answers. And for this group of you, it's going to be the answer you've been waiting to hear for 11 plus months. I don't know why it's just said 11 plus months, but, um, for some of you, you're waiting for somebody to get divorced. Um, this is a Virgo or it's happening in the Virgo season. You had plans with this person, but for some reason, this relationship did not get off the ground. Um, there's somebody else in this energy. They're either a Taurus or a Leo. Um, there, yeah. If, if you're connecting with a Virgo, please watch a Virgo reading because this is somebody standing in the way of your guys's connection. And I picked this up with Virgo as well. Um, yeah, they kept you a secret. Somebody is in denial. I feel it is the Taurus or Leo that is standing in the way. Um, this Virgo is trying to tell this person that it's not working out, that uh, they want to move on, but they're not letting go. They're holding on very tight. Um, they will eventually break of this energy, but they're not going to, they're not going to get away just free and clear. Um, this person that they're dealing with is in denial. They're not wanting to hear the words that it's over. Um, for some of you, you are having a marriage end. Um, you guys are having a lot of trouble communicating. Uh, say what you feel, hear what they say. Uh, because these are the answers you need for closure. These, they're telling you what you're asking, but, um, for some of you, you're not listening to what they're saying. Your, your answers to closure are being given to you, whether this be in the form of words or actions. Um, some of you are dealing with somebody who ghosted you. Uh, I do see in September, these roles reversing. Somebody took off on you, Sagittarius, um, could have been 10, 11 months ago. You have tried a couple times to make it work and they ghosted you again. I see them coming towards you and now you are in the driver's seat. You get to decide if you want to take them back or not. And you're being cautious. You're not jumping right into this with this person. And this is making them nervous. Uh, you're not responding to them right away. Um, because you kind of moved on. You moved on with your life. Uh, 
yeah, I kind of see the ghosting roles reversing. But ultimately, I do see you guys coming together in the month of September. September 13th is a huge date for somebody out there. Um, you guys are going to come together on this date. Uh, for some of you, you're moving, you're traveling with a partner. Um, something big, big, big is coming your way for this group of you. Um, I keep hearing the number 12 as well. So if you're connected to a 12, whether you're born on the 12th, somebody died on the 12th, you, a relationship started or ended on the 12th, whatever, um, the 12th is very significant to you. If this resonates, um, Yeah. If the number 12 resonates with you, you have something big coming towards you. They're not showing me what though. They it's just something big, something big. It's all I keep seeing. Um or on the 12th something big is going to happen. Some of you for this for a group of you, you need to heal family issues with your mother. You're at odds uh You're not seeing eye to eye. Um, you're too much alike is what I'm hearing. You guys are butting heads. Um, there's no there's no time to waste uh, arguing, fighting over petty things. Um, it's time to heal those family issues. Some of you have deeper family issues. It's something more on um, the side of being abandoned, abandonment issues um, from your mother. Um, it's time to forgive and move on. If you don't want to forgive that person, you don't have to forgive them. Forgive yourself for entrusting and loving the wrong person. Forgive yourself for allowing yourself to dwell on that for that long and to move forward. Um, we don't forgive for the person that hurt us. We forgive for ourselves so we can um, take that lesson with us and move forward and don't let it debilitate the future. Um some of you are starting a new relationship with an air sign. Uh, this is a beautiful relationship. They have their shit together. Um, they are ready to love you um, wholeheartedly. They could have possibly been hurt in the past to, um, I'm seeing the month of February. Uh, they kind of got their own tower. Uh, a relationship they were in for a long time kind of blew up. And, but they have moved on. They have healed from this and they're ready to give to you, um, a beautiful relationship. Um, for a group of you, something that you had done in secret, something that you had not exactly told everybody about is being brought to light. It's being blown out of the water. People are going to be shocked. Now, I'm not saying this is something bad. It could be something good. But either way, people are jaw to the ground. Um, but you are going to come out smelling like a rose. You are coming out better than great. Um, for a group of you, you're going through a transition, a change, and or you're just coming out of this. Yeah, August was huge for you guys for transformations. Um, you're coming in. I'm recording this at the end of August. So I am picking up on that energy. I just seen an orb like go right in front of my face. Um, I should timestamp that. 2837, I think that says. Um, but... Yeah. You guys are coming out. August was a big month um, for a relationship that you have been dealing with. Yeah, it's directly connected to making a change in a situation that you've been involved in for the last 11 months. Keep saying 11. You guys are deeply connected to 11. Um, the situation that you've been involved in for the last 11 months you are transitioning, you are changing, you're changing your thoughts, the way you feel about this, the way you are prepared to move on. If this person doesn't move forward, um, beautiful outcomes are coming for that with that. Uh, you're finally at a place where you're okay again. 
Uh, for this group of you, this person left you with no warning, no answers, no nothing. They just up and left. Um, and this would have been last August. Um, it brought you to your knees. It crumbled you. You thought this person was your forever, and they are. Um, but when they left, they didn't answer you for weeks, months. Um, you may have connected a couple times in the last 11 months, but nothing truly connected because they were blocking their emotions. They were blocking their heart. It could have been just something sexual. Um, and they just were stuck. They're, they're moving now. They are moving in that direction that you would like to see. They are reaching out to you in September. Um, you just have to adjust yourself a little bit. There's a group of you. You're just a little ungrounded, not major, not nothing, um, drastic, but, um, remember to center yourself every day. Um, for this group of you, the issues you're having is you are absorbing everybody else's energies. You're taking on everybody else's problems. You're taking on everybody else's emotions. And it's just, it's dragging you down. It's lowering your vibration to where you're just not quite there. Ask your angels every day to help keep you grounded and to keep your energy separate from everybody else's and um, to allow you to stay centered in yourself for the whole day. Um, that's going to help a lot. For another group of you, you have a huge surprise coming in the 20th of September. Yeah, somebody in your life is surprising the shit out of you. September 20th is a big day for a group of you. Um, you for some of you, you're changing locations, you're changing homes, um, moving states. You're in different states right now. You're moving together. Um there's going to be a huge shift of energy around the 26th through the 28th, like a push of energy is coming in, um, and solutions to your problems that you have been beating yourself up for, for months are coming clear. It's just going to pop into your head. Like, why didn't that's so simple? Why didn't I think of that? Um, it's coming in with that wave of energy that, uh, I keep hearing it's going to be okay. If you're something with, um, your home, if you are financially struggling with your home, it's going to be okay. Reach out for help. There's somebody, um, whether it be friend, family, somebody's going to help you. Uh, Yeah. It's going to be all okay for us. That's a very small group of you it may just be one certain person, but, um, for some of you, uh, you need to direct your energy into a positive direction. You're focusing on a negative situation. And this has to do with you, like asking your angels for help too. Um, you're absorbing everyone else's energies and then you're projecting your energy in their negative direction because you are focused on it. Um, it's time to focus your energy on something positive. Um, direct it in a positive way. Um, September 3rd, you're going to have a realization about a situation that you've been waiting on. Um, it's going to come very clear to you that you've been wasting your time. Um, for this group of you, um, you're, you're, um, dealing with a water sign that's cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in the sun or moon. Um, yeah, you're going to come to this realization that you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and you realize what am I doing? I'm wasting my time. Um, move forward, move on. If it's meant to happen, it will come back to you. Um, yeah, it's just time to move forward. For some of you, there's something that you've been wanting to prove yourself about. 
Um, some people could be doubting you. This could be with your work, relationship, whatever. Um, you are wanting to prove yourself. You're wanting to show the world that uh, you have invested in this for a reason. And this is why um, you are um, finding success. You could be being recognized at work. You could be, um, people know you, you are very like a spotlight in the community or, um, you know, you're, you're known by a large group of people. You're finding success. You are proving yourself. All the naysayers are going to be shutting the F up because there's been plenty at your back talking, uh, doubting you. You could have come up with an idea or a plan or, uh, uh, a proposal at work and people are like kind of scoffing in the background. You're finding huge success and they're going to have to eat their words. Good job, Saggies. There is somebody at your work who's trying to belittle you, trying to make you look bad. Um, People may listen to what they're saying, but they're not taking it to heart. The people who know you know that that's not you. Um, Sagittariuses are so, um, they give and give and give to the point where they have nothing left for themselves, but that's okay as long as everybody else is okay. Um, you guys are a very selfless uh, zodiac. I see a lot of you are counselors. Um, you know, in the field of helping people, humanitarian work, uh, home health care, things like that. Um, yeah, and you're going to be well rewarded for your time and energy that you give to other people out of the gracious and goodness of your heart. You're being recognized for this. So um, thank you for all that you do for the collective and... And you should be thanked every day. Um, somebody is going to come back to you. This is somebody from your past. They're going to give you information or tell you something. Um, this is in person. This is not a message. It's going to literally lift like, or lift like, it's going to literally feel like the world is being lifted off your shoulders. You have had a lot of stress over this, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of tears. Um, they're coming back to apologize and to tell you something that's going to re-spark that hope, that faith. Um, this is something very beautiful, very magical between the two of you. Um Yeah, you're feeling, you're feeling like, I hope this isn't, I hope this isn't what I fear it is. Um, they're telling you that they're coming back. They're telling you that they want to be with you. They're telling you, but you've heard it in the past and they ghosted you how many times before. So you're really like holding back, but you can tell this time it's different. There's something in your heart space. There's something in that chakra that is telling you this is different. It's real this time. There's a different connection. There's a different feeling. There's a difference in the way they talk to you. They speak to you. They look you in the eye. The admiration for you is just there. You can see it. You can feel it. This is real. They're not leaving this time. When they come back to you, it's back for good. Um, for those of you um, dealing with a twin flame, um, especially if they are a Virgo, a Leo, or a Gemini, um, they are coming back. They're coming back for real. Um, you're just going to know when you're around them again. They're for how long now? Even if you guys were talking, but, and seeing each other once in a while, but mostly it was, they were non-existent when they talked to you, it was just, it was normal. It was okay. It was, how's your day? Good. 
fine. Great. Thanks for asking. It'd go be three days. You know, um, when they come back to you this time, every word they say to you is felt from the heart as they're speaking it from the heart. Literally, it's going to be a difference in you can feel their words all of a sudden. Their words have meaning. Their words have heart, have emotion. Um, some of you are still kind of upset about the past, about, upset about how they they ghosted, about how they chose that other person and not you. Don't be so quick to bite at them. Don't be so quick to blast them. Um, because what they're going to tell you is straight from the heart and all feelings. And it's real. This is going to happen so fast. Like it's taken them forever to get to this point, but it's just like flipping a switch night and day. They're coming for you and they want to be with you. Um, they have, for this group of you, they could have children. Um, they were worried about leaving their responsibilities behind. They felt like they were abandoning their children. Um, their partner also was not easily letting them go. Their partner is very manipulative and controlling. Um, but they are getting the courage, the backing from the universe. They are moving forward. Uh, I do see this group of you being in reconciliation by the end of the year, like full union. Um, they are coming back in September. They are telling you this. Um, you're going to just know it's real this time. You guys, for some of you, you're going to jump right into a relationship with them and be in union. Some of you, uh, they're not quite out of their karmic relationship, but they are um, moving towards you. And for some of you, uh, you're going to see each other, but not live together uh, for a very short time. But by the end of the year, for these three um, zodiacs, especially um, reconciliation and reunions are here. If you are a uh, Pisces, if they are a Pisces, I apologize. Um, this Pisces new moon is just pushing them, uh, or full moon, I apologize, is just pushing them into their emotions. Uh, they're kind of feeling like they're drowning right now, but this is where they flourish. This is where they um, just out of the blue, make a turn and they're there. Um, they're coming for you. They're making you promises. You can believe them this time. Um, that's also if you're dealing with a Virgo as well, they've made a lot of promises in the, in the past and never did they follow through with them. It's different now. Um, they are coming and they will be here. Um, for some of you, you have um, been waiting for this person to come back for so long. And now you have other options as well. Uh, for a group of you, you have two very good options. You can pick either one and it's going to be amazing. Um, especially if they are a Libra, a Virgo, or another Sagittarius. Um, any of those options you're going to find success in. Also, you are, um, on the 18th, you are going to have blessings flowing in, in one way or another, uh, to the point where you're going to stop in your, in your tracks and question, what did I do to deserve this? And for once it's in the positive for the last year to three years, we've been asking, what did I do to deserve this? Like, my God, my world cannot come down any harder around me. Finally, you guys are questioning, how, why are you receiving these beautiful blessings? Um, big, beautiful blessings on the 18th of September for this group of you. Um, around the 21st, you're going to have a big burst of energy uh, come towards you. It's going to cause a creative spark that is going to make you financially um very abundant. Yeah. Um, you're also going to just be creative in like your home, uh, redecorating, uh, just your 
spark of creation is just mind blown. Um, you, for a group of you, you, you're realizing that you have to get a grip on life and manage your life a little more. And I don't mean that to be rude or offensive because we all need to get a grip on life once in a while. But um, we've been stuck for for so long on a person in the past because we were waiting on them because they were stuck that we kind of let um, little things in our life go. Um, it's time to wrangle them all in and start managing your life again. Um, every aspect of your life needs attention. Um, for a group of you, this is your uh, eating habits. You need to uh, watch what you're eating uh, eat healthy. Some of you aren't eating enough. Some of you are eating too much. Um, just regulate your diet. It's time to get your health on track. So when you receive, um, these downloads from the universe, when you, uh, come into union, you gotta be, you gotta be at top notch. Um, I'm not saying you gotta go spend two hours in the gym every day. I'm saying instead of a brownie, grab a banana, uh, something like that, you know, it's not major, but it's just little things that you've let go that if you keep letting them go, they're going to become a problem. Another is, um, you know, like your finances, you could be spending more than you earn. Um, it's, it's time to get a budget together. Uh, focus on your finances because some of you are coming out of a real, um, difficult financial hardship. Um, there is going to be an omen revealed to you on three different days of this month, the 6th, the 12th, and the 29th. Um, for everyone, it's going to be different. Uh, for some of you, it's going to be a hawk. For some of you, it's going to be an owl. Um, yeah, and there's others too. But it's going to be like, did you just see that there? Why, you know, like, somewhere where it is not supposed to be, it's going to just be blatantly, obviously right there. Um, stop in your tracks. Think, what are you doing? And what were you thinking of at that moment? That is what that animal is showing you your message is for. Um, those three days, they are going to happen. Um, you don't have to see that omen all three of those days, but those are the three days that um, those spirit animals are going to be um, reaching out to you, Sagittarius's. Uh, also a fox. There's a fox. Everybody's is going to be different, but it's just going to be so blatantly obvious that that was not supposed to be there, that you're going to know that that's your omen. And it's going to restore your hope in whatever it is that you have been down and out about. Um, your materialistic gains are improving. Um, you're figuring out what you want to do in life. Uh, big things are coming in September. I can't say that enough. Big, 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 big things. Uh, your love life is ascending to a beautiful level. If you're single, uh, like I said, you have people coming in that are your life partners. Twin flames are returning. Virgos especially are, and I think everybody's shocked by Virgos. Well, at least I am because, um, I read all the Zodiacs. So I know where everybody is kind of in their stage. And I know that Virgo, um, every other Zodiac has taken 80 steps in the last year and Virgo's taken two. And now in the last or in the next two weeks, Virgo's going to take 180. So like, it's just an amazing movement for our Virgos, um, who have been, who have been stuck. Um, which is beautiful for them. So if you're connecting with a Virgo, uh, be prepared for the month of September. It's going to be amazing and happy. And your wishes are finally coming true because you've been wishing for this other person. Um, but they've been wish wishing for you as well. Um, there are a couple blocks in different groups of Usagi's um, relationships. There's a Taurus uh, female blocking, um, actually male and female. So yeah, just Taurus. There's a Taurus in your way. Um, they are going to be moved out of the path. They are going to be removed. Um, just be patient. 
Um, yeah, there's also a, there's also a Gemini that could be standing in your way. Cancer. There's just people, everything is not what it always appears to be. So if you're like, why are they not here? Why have they not chosen me? Why am I still waiting? Um, they're trying, no matter what Zodiac you're dealing with, um, because I see all of them here. So just because I say Virgo doesn't mean that there aren't any other Zodiacs there. It's just that they're predominantly right here in my face. <laughs> um, but there's all Zodiacs here. But if you're finding yourself questioning this, it's because their, their path of healing is, um, oh, my nose is so itchy. Their path of healing is a little more intricate than yours. They're dealing with a little bit more karmic, uh, past and lessons and debts. Uh, when you're in separation, you're meant to be in separation because you have different paths that you have to heal. Um, not saying your path was easy because, oh my God, Sagittarius as me, I'm Saggy moon and sun. Um, our paths have been littered with things from the past that we had to heal from, but you're further ascended than your partner in separation. You are more matured as far as your spirituality. They're just a couple steps behind you and they're dealing with their own um, hurts and scars and lessons. So you made it to the finish line first, but they're coming right behind you. So don't give up faith. Don't give up hope. Just enjoy your life. Enjoy right now that nine of pentacles energy where you're just, you got your hot, you got it and you know it. Like they'll be coming, they'll be coming for you. Um, but in the meantime, enjoy your life, enjoy your friends, go to, go to lunches with, um, your friends, go out to movies, whatever you want to do. Um, because you are vibrating at your highest right now. If you're not at your highest vibration, you will be soon. So enjoy the, uh, the energy that is attracted to you. Um, ooh, I just got a shiver. <laughs> um, There's somebody coming into your path for a group of you that's going to help you spiritually to a, the next level. They're going to inspire you. They're going to, whether it be by their words or their actions, um, you're going to find your inspiration through them. And when you find that inspiration, you're going to find that you have a way of communicating with the universe, with your angels that you've never experienced before. This is going to happen after the 29th of September. You're going to receive a major download on the 30th. And after you receive that download, you're going to um, be able to communicate in a way you've never had before. It's going to be different for everybody, um, but just be open to it. Make sure you're grounded. Make sure you protect yourself your home and then allow it to come in. Enjoy it. Um, it possibly could be scary for some of you at first because you've never experienced this before. Um, but don't fear it. There's nothing to fear. It's just the unknown. So some people do. I think that is all I have for you, Sagittarius's. Um, lots of important dates in September. I hope you guys wrote those down. Um, and then, of course, let me know how this resonated. If it resonated with you, if it didn't, um, I love to read your guys' comments, how, how and why it resonated. Um, but write those dates down, and I would like to see in uh, um, October how many of you... Uh, received that. Also the ninth, the ninth is a big day. Oh my goodness. The ninth is a big day for a big, a part of, let me start over. The ninth is a big day for a large part of you. If you are single or waiting for somebody to come back. Um, yeah. 
Also, if you're dealing with somebody with the name Luke, they have a huge surprise for you coming in on the 13th. The 13th or the 19th. I'm seeing two different dates. Um, and this is going to raise your level of uh, relationship commitment. You're going to the next level. So um, be looking forward to that. Your guys' wishes in September are just coming true. That's all there is to it. Uh, you want it, you got it type of energy around you guys. And well-deserved, may I say, because you guys have worked hard. You've been through a roller coaster of a three years and um, it's time to enjoy those blessings that come in. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos, um, for being patient with me through my move, uh, for your continuous support, your beautiful exchange of positive energy and um, just for being here and being a part of my spiritual journey. Without you guys, it would not be the same. So Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to my channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do. Um, if you're a returning viewer, thank you for your support. Um, make sure you like, comment um, below because these likes and comments are the numbers I go by for next month's channel messages. So um, I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful month of September. I know you will. Amazing things are coming for you. Twin Flame Unions, Soulmate Reunions, uh, just amazing, amazing things coming. So as always, I send you loving, healing light and may God bless your journey.